You can't see it, but this water in West Berkshire's River Kennet has suffered a major pollution incident. It's thought a harmful chemical was released into the water at Marlborough, which was discovered by a conservation group. Dr Geoffrey Findlay is their chairman. Well, Action for the River Kennet is a local voluntary organisation that exists to care for the Kennet. It's got a, number, a lot of volunteers, many of whom monitor the river on a regular basis, and one day they found that the level of little aquatic insect invertebrae had dropped dramatically, absolutely dramatically. They reported back to us, they went back, tested it again, and there was no doubt we'd lost something like 90%, nothing like 90% of the little invertebrates which are the bottom of the food chain, one of the most important parts because that's what the fish feed on. And 15 kilometres away from Marlborough, where the pesticide got into the river, here in Hungerford, traces of it can be found in the river, although we are told that the effects of that are far less devastating than elsewhere. The Environment Agency's John Sutton's told us that it's had a devastating effect on marine life. Once the pesticide, chlorpyrifos, had entered the river Kennet, it killed large numbers of invertebrates, aquatic insects, off very, very quickly. So once the pesticide got into the river, the Environment Agency launched its investigation. So what did it have to do from there? OK, well, the investigation had a number of strands. First of all, our uh, water samplers were out collecting water samples of the, from the affected reach of river. But also our invertebrate biologists came out there in order that they could find out which species had been killed and what sort of length of river was affected by chlorpyrifos, the, the pesticide in question. And how is it that you go about investigating? I know some things are quite sensitive, but there are certain things that you would have done uh, to get to the point where you are now. Yeah. What happens is that we not only take physical and chemical samples from the river, but we also interview uh, local people. We'll know the sorts of people that use this uh, particular product. And so one of the very first things that we would have done is to visit those people and try and gain information from them. And what about the river as it is now? This was some time back, I think a few weeks ago. I understand in a certain way the river sort of repairs itself. Well, just how long the river is going to take to recover is, 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 is really something that we'll only know as we monitor it. It may be that some species start to recover quite quickly, but there'll be other species that will take a very long time before they recolonise to the levels uh, prior to the pollution. Newbury's MP Richard Bennion said that he was gutted when he learned about the incident. The furious environment ministers told the Breeze he's determined to get to the bottom of it and find who's responsible. I want to see somebody being held to account for this. This is a, this is one of this is a triple SI, it's a site of special scientific interest. This is a, a recovering river this is, um, that has been devastated by this pollution. Uh, whether we get to prosecutions or not, I don't know. But the important thing is that we look at every aspect of this, making sure that the availability of this chemi chemical is investigated, and that's one of the things that we're doing at DEFRA. Health and safety warnings to keep away from the water and not to eat fish caught from it have long since been revoked. According to officials and other experts, places like Hungerford have escaped the worst of it.